it's Jay Morant and Jay Tanner from Goliath Gaming, and today we are ranking our quests 5 to 1. One is our best. Here's Tatum's. So basically, Crescendo is my number 5, because overall, it's not a very good game. It's not available on Oculus Quest 2, which I don't understand. It's, you have to kill people with shovels, which is dumb. So that's why that's my fifth pick. For number four, I have Crimson Cauldron. One, I've never really played it because it doesn't sound very appealing. <laughs> and two, you have to kill people with wands, which really, which really suck because they have no range and they're just like a little, pew, you know, little puff of glitter and stuff. It really sucks. Okay, so number three for me is Isle of Lost Schools. I've only played it a couple times because, again, it doesn't look that fun because it kind of isn't. You have to kill skeletons, and I think that's kind of cool. I like that you have to, uh, like, be on a pirate ship and stuff. But you, your weapons are a broom and, like, fish and swords. And it's not, it's not the best designed game because... It's very kind of overwhelming if you don't know what you're doing. Um, then number two for me would have to be Rise of Jumbotron. I really like Rise of Jumbotron. It, it used to be my favorite quest until I started grinding Gold Trophy. Um, Rise of Jumbotron, there's it's very fun. I like how like I like how it's kind of you know laser tag, but it's also a quest for like laser tag type of stuff. Um, the only thing is, it takes a, a while, like a long, pr pretty long time, um, and to me, it should be a little shorter and a little less hard. Um, number one for me would obviously have to be Golden Trophy, because I've been grinding that now here for the past couple of days, and it, I've really got on to it, but I really like the sword and bow and arrows prospect of it i like that the bows you know i just love bows like sniping the little blaster guys out on the lava i think that's very fun very cool design so overall golden trophy is definitely my favorite it's because the levels get progressively harder as you go they don't um they don't really uh get right into it like right away i'd say about the fifth level it starts getting progressively harder but yeah that's my ranking of all the rec room quests i'm sorry that tatum hasn't really ever played C crimson cauldron he doesn't really like that's just unacceptable but my fifth pick is crescendo because i have like rarely played it it sucks like you have to use like shovels and forks and stuff it's not even on all the oculuses so clearly it's not that good my fourth um, quest would have to be Isle of the Lost Skulls. I've only played it, oh, I haven't played it that much. I think it's kind of confusing. I've never even got to the boss fight. I know that's kind of sad to hear, but I think it's cool, though, how you get to use, like, the blunderbuss or whatever it's called. Um, and I just, I think it's a cool idea, but the function isn't great. My number three would have to be Crimson Cauldron. I've only won it, like, I don't even know how many times. Not that many times, though. It is fun if you're paired with, like, good teammates. I got carried when I've won so far because I'm pretty new to it. I hate the wands, though. I mean, I guess it's kind of a cool idea if you're into that. But basically, you just get, like, level ones friendly firing you with the wands. But the boss fight is super easy, too. So I think that's kind of it's it's kind of like fun it's not that hard to win so that's my number three my number two is also rise of jumbotron it also used to be my number one but then i like it's kind of i wasn't really into quest when it was my favorite uh the rewards are really good the idea is amazing i really like how it's like like robots because it's like real that's like a thing that people talk about um but it's it takes a while it's really hard you have to get paired with good teammates you probably can't even solo this unless you're freaking Bothia or something. But that's my number two. And then, obviously, Golden Trophy is my number one. I It wasn't, but like Tatum said, lately we've been getting into it a lot. We've been trying to, like, duo it a lot and stuff. It's, it's a lot of fun. 
I honestly think the first, like, three levels and the fifth level are really boring. I really like the fourth level, though. I like the idea of, like, how you have to, like, come together with your teammates a lot of the time. You can't just, like... I mean, obviously, you could solo it, but if you're playing with teammates on, like, Act 8, if you're not that good, because me and Tatum aren't experts at this game, you have to work together and communicate, and it's just... It's, like, stressful in a fun way, and then the boss isn't too hard to beat, and they have good rewards. So that is my list of quests. This was Jay Morant and Jay Tatum from Goliath Gaming. If you like this content, subscribe for more. And we just want to thank you guys so much because last Monday on the, I don't even know the date, but last Monday we were at four subscribers and we've gained 53 at the time of this recording in less than a week. So we just want to thank you guys so much. I also want to thank both Thaya for responding to me in his stream. It, it, he inspired us from the start and that just gives us another boost. So thank you. But yeah, we hope to see you out in the Rec Room community. Jay Morant 12 and Jay Tatum 0 are our gamer tags. Peace! Peace.